What's going on guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely obliterate the cover two defense, especially when people are using 30 yard cloud flat zones um, from the empty bunch wide. What's going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I just want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to do that and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here in the community. As we prepare for Madden 22, we're going to be posting videos every single day, multiple videos a day that can help you get better on both offense and defense. So if you want to get access to all of our Madden 22 content, I would encourage you to hit subscribe. Another thing that I want to let you know about is we are in the empty bunch wide out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playbook. And if you want to learn my entire empty bunch wide offensive scheme, I actually just released that to my text message members. If you don't know what the text message membership is, what it is, is it's a free um, service that I offer people who text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And what we do is every single week, I release a free offensive scheme or a free defensive scheme to my text message members. So if you want to sign up for that, all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. It's in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's also in the description. And that is my personal cell phone number. If you have any Madden questions, feel free to ask me that there. Okay, guys, so the play we're going over today is Drive Corner. And this is really a great play. It's really specifically designed for when your opponent starts to run some underneath zone coverage, somewhat like this. Now, I have my Cloud Flats on 30 yards. And a lot of people that defend Bunch will like to run cover two. And so what I'm going to do with this very simply is I'm going to take the R1 and I'm actually going to put him on a smart route. I'm then going to put the X on a streak or a vertical route. And then from there, what I like to do is I actually like to smart route this triangle receiver. I like to hitch the square receiver. And then I'm just going to motion this circle receiver to the left, just like so, and snap the ball right there. And what you're going to see is this number one read on this play is this R1 receiver. As you can see here, he's going to get really good separation against cover two. If you have a good tight end and can make a good throw, you might even get yourself a one play touchdown. This is the best cover two beater, in my opinion, in the game right now because it's bet it's really good against not only zone drops, but it's good against um, this type of cover two where you see I'm going to drop this guy into the deep blue. So I've got 30 yard zone drops and I'm dropping this guy vertically into a deep blue zone. And I absolutely love this because it's just so simple. And we're going to talk about the left side here in just a second. But you have such a natural left to right progression. And again, that R1 receiver is just going to get in a really cool position that's going to be make it very successful uh, against the cover two. So that's how you beat cover two out of empty bunch wide. Now we're going to show you how to beat a couple of other coverages. I'm going to actually jump out and grab the Mike Blitz three real quick and kind of talk through some of that. Now, I will say that that corner route is kind of a specific thing against cover two. We're going to show it to you against cover three in just a second. You're going to notice that it's not quite as successful uh, against cover three as it is against cover two, but it's still a really good route. And we're going to go through uh, a couple of other things that you can do off of this. But the next thing that I want to show you is how this play really fares against cover, uh, cover three Mabel. Because uh, cover three Mabel being one of the best zone concepts in the game this year. If you watch that R1 receiver, you're going to see he's still going to get open over the top, just like that. And again, remember, really clear, I want to be really clear, my flats are on 30, my curl flats are on 10, and my uh, hook curls are on 10. So I have really deep zone drop set that should be able to get back there, and they're not able to do that. And what you'll find with this X receiver, um, because of where he's positioned, if this was the regular bunch, um, it's likely that the X receiver would not be able to get the uh, attention of both of the deep uh, the deep zones but because he's outside just a little bit more he gets the attention of both zones just like that and then again as you see right there and that's what I was talking about where sometimes that corner route just because of kind of how that route works sometimes not all the time but that corner route can get kind of uh, kind of in a bad spot so if it does then you're just gonna check it down to our next read on the play and our next read on the play is the drag route um, to this to the circle receiver so you're gonna see here we're looking right high low oh they will high so now I'm gonna go low to this drag and this drag is really good it's really good against man and it's really good against zone as you see right there we're able to hit it for a quick 10 to 15 yards every single time whether it be man or zone as well if that's man coverage because it's a motion drag you know obviously that's gonna get open against man to man and the next thing that I want to show you is the smash concept that we have 
uh, on this back side of the field. And this is really a great play uh, design. And what you're going to see here is this triangle receiver, just hard outside pass lead it. And this is a little pro tip. Whenever we, uh, real quick, you're going to notice that I'm running this with my bunch receivers or my three wide receivers to the right side of the field. Or I'm sorry, to the wide side of the field. Um, they're also to the right side of the field, but to the wide side of the field. So what that means is these two receivers are to the short side. So if I was, the ball was on the other side of the field on the right hash mark, then I would just flip this. But because of this, what you see is I have this short side smash concept, and this corner route is virtually unstoppable to the short side of the field. It's so good against cover four and cover three. If they run cover two to the short side of the field, I just want to show you just so you can get a full picture of kind of what's going on here. But let's say, for example, that they do run a cover two, and let's just say they may be... Um, let me reset this real quick, but let's just say, for example, they might, um, I don't know, for whatever reason, they're able to stop the, the tight end route. Watch this left side. You'll see here this corner route, uh, just hard outside pass. And as you see right there, it can kind of get in a unique position. But even better than that and even more open than that is this concept that I've been talking about for about a week now. Um, I've talked about it before in other areas and other vehicles, but it's this concept of the when you have this short side of the field hitch um, it's really not necessarily required to be to the short side of the field but what you have is you have this hitch on the numbers when it's on the numbers and you pair that with a corner route you're going to see here that that's there's no zone in the game that's going to cover that as long as brady doesn't make the worst throw of his is his uh, practice mode career and so the best way that i would recommend that you run this and real quick i'll just show this by putting Nelson in a vertical hook instead of that hook curl because obviously it's going to get open against the hook curl But I want to show you it um, against something that's maybe a little bit more designed to stop it But if you watch this look at this square receiver just pass lead that to the left and as you can see It just kind of sits underneath that that yellow zone will never intercept that Especially if you have gunslinger So you have a really great little concept that can not only beat cover two on both sides of the field But you can also beat cover three on both sides of the field and what I absolutely love about it is really just the simplicity of everything. Um, it's really a simple concept. That corner route is really good to the left side. It's good against man and zone. And then you have this really nice little shallow crossing drag that is going to get easy yardage against the defense. So all in all, this is truly a phenomenal passing concept. It's very difficult to stop this. Let me show this one more time against the cover four, or not the cover four, but the cover three. And then I want to show you one kind of unique defense that you might get whenever you go um, into this offense and this play is very good against that that defense. So anyways, this is cover three again And I just want to show you the, the the corner route again just so you can get a full picture of this So you see here he cuts the outside and right there you see it doesn't quite look you see that see how he kind of gets too vertical That's really the problem. So if that happens, you know in one way you can kind of get around it actually um, one way you can kind of get around it is by leaving him on his default depth. Um, I've actually noticed that if you leave him on his default depth, it'll be a little bit better. So let me show you that real quick. So, because most common logic is to smart route him, but if I just leave him on this deep corner, it's kind of like the corner out of the tight gun tight. But you see here, passing that to the right, and see he does get a little bit more, a little bit better separation. But now I want to spend just a quick second on a defense that you might have seen. I've talked about it before on the channel. And that's the cover four show too. But what they're going to do is they're actually going to base align it just like this. And then they're going to um, run these double 30 uh, yard cloud flats. And this is a great play to basically combat this. The reason why it's so good is because what you're going to see is these, this at the top of the route, this uh, the inside quarter zones are going to match the vertical route. So what you're going to see here is they're gonna to have to make a basically a decision and they make the decision on the streak almost every time and as you can see the corner route is wide open over the top of that defense real quick uh, I did want to go over this one real quick against the blitz and I want to show it against man as well so uh, first things first let's go over it against the zone blitz uh, this is a really good play against zone pressure the reason why it's so good is because these three routes on the left side are the best three routes in my opinion for beating the blitz and as you can see right here you're just going to throw real simple you can easily throw that drag route um, obviously depending on where their users at is something you need to pay attention to but the other thing that you're going to be able to do is because of this corner route because when you smart route that corner route it's so sharp then that's an easy snap throw read i can just easily rely on that 
against that. I also have my hitch as well in this situation that I might get pressure. And then let's go over um, the man blitz. So if you get a man man to man pressure look, typically if you get man to man pressure, they're going to be shading over the top because they don't want to get burned. Um, and that's actually a really good thing for this triangle receiver. All I got to do is just lob this up, and you'll see that the triangle receiver will very consistently be able to beat man to man coverage. And then if you get press man, your triangle receiver will actually be able to beat this a lot of the time. But the first read especially out of press man to man is this motion drag what you'll see is this motion drag is going to get really simple really um really good separation against man to man so you've got really consistent man beaters one little pro tip about this empty bunch is whenever you um and we'll talk about man to man more as we get you know we talk a lot about it in the guide but really what's something that's really unique about this formation is you can actually create natural picks and rubs. So I could do something like this and let him get all the way over just like that. And you see here now it creates some quick reads for me to be able to attack man-to-man -man pressure. Okay. So anyways, that is the empty bunch wide uh, drive corner play. If you want to get the full scheme, all you got to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. And if you want to sign up, for all of my Madden 22 text message membership schemes. We're gonna release one every single week. Uh, we're gonna release an offensive one and a defensive one. Um, we're gonna try to just rotate them. But if you wanna get that, all you gotta do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900.